For complete setup, preventive maintenance, and safe operating instructions, please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. Designed for efficient production volume fastening, the HUC 2025 Neudraulic Installation Tool offers features that make the installation job fast and easy. Ergonomic design, plated piston rods, and inline piston are just a few. The 2025 is also easy to maintain, as you'll see in the following step-by-step -step demonstration. First, remove the nose piece. Remove the retaining nut. Then slide off the anvil housing. Then the collet and collet extension. Next, remove the trigger assembly. Break the screw loose and remove it. Using an Allen wrench is the best way. Slide out the throttle. You'll also want to remove the throttle valve assembly. This component has O-rings that will need to be replaced, which are available in the kit. Next, place the tool in the vise to hold it in place while you disassemble the components at the bottom of the tool. Be careful not to crush the handle. Using a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, remove the three Allen screws from the back cap. Lift the cap off, remove the Allen screws, and set it to the side. Remove the muffler. Tap the bottom cap down with a brass or plastic mallet. Use a screwdriver to pry up and remove the spiral locks ring. Use the three Allen screws removed earlier to help remove the back cap. Gently pry up the back cap using two screwdrivers. Pull the back cap out and remove the screws. Next, use vice grips to clamp onto the nut in the air piston. Gently turn and pull out the air piston and rod assembly. Now you can remove the vice grips. Using a screwdriver, remove the bumper inside the tool. Remove the gland using a 1 and 3 8 inch socket. You'll want to use an extension to get down inside the cylinder with a ratchet or breaker bar to loosen the gland nut. Use a ratchet to disassemble the gland. Which will then remove the cylinder from the handle assembly. Once the gland is loose, it can be removed by hand. Pour oil from the handle into a container. Next, take off the locking ring and disassemble the gland. Using a pick or scribe, pry up the C-ring and remove it from the gland. Lightly tap to remove the spacer from the gland. Then remove the seals within the gland. Push the inner seal out of the tool. Don't forget that inside there's one more seal to be removed from the bottom. Always remember to replace all seals.
Next, we'll demonstrate disassembly of the head handle. To begin, place the handle in the vise. Remove the rubber deflector. Using an adjustable wrench, break loose the back cap. and remove the back cap and spring. Loosen the front adapter and remove. Finally, remove the wiper seal and set it aside. Using the bullet and spacer available in the kit, remove the piston Refer to the tool assembly manual for the correct kit. Place the spacer, then thread the bullet on, and use a light brass hammer to drive the piston out, removing the front gland assembly. Take care to avoid the oil. Next, remove the assembly bullet, spacer, and front gland. Now it's time to replace all the seals in the front gland and piston. All seals are available in the repair kit provided. This is a good time to inspect the inner workings of the 2025 tool. First, inspect the cylinder for scratches. If present, clean them up or replace the whole cylinder. Inspect the piston rod for visible scratches that you can feel with your hand or with a scribe. Also, inspect the handle and interior cylinder bore, looking for scratches and anything you can feel with a scribe. Finally, inspect the pull piston for scores and scratching on the surface area. Now it's time to reassemble the piston. First, make sure all the seals have been properly replaced. Then, thread on the piston bullet without the spacer. Add grease to the bullet and slide the gland, brass side out, all the way down the piston. Now the piston assembly is ready to go back into the tool. Using a vise, we'll reassemble the piston into the head handle. Take the assembly tool for the back of the head and thread it into the cylinder. This is to help ensure there's no damage to the O-rings or seals. Thread on the front adapter, using an adjustable wrench to tighten. Reinstall the piston assembly through the rear of the handle. Use a brass hammer to tap it all the way forward. Once this is done, remove the assembly bullet and rear assembly tool. Replace the spring, making sure the washer is placed on the end. Thread on the back cap. Then finish tightening with a wrench. Once you've added the rubber deflector back on, you've completely reassembled the head and handle of the tool. Now it's time to install the cylinder. Remove the tool from the vise, turn it over, and re-tighten. Next, put the gland back together by inserting the aluminum spacer and clip until it snaps into place. Reassemble the cylinder using the locating pin and hole. Insert the gland and thread it down. Using a ratchet to tighten to 50 to 55 foot-pounds. 
the gland nut should be torqued to the specification in the manual. Insert the rubber bumper, making sure the grooves are facing up. Now, push it down onto the gland. It should snap into place. At this point, bring the air piston rod in. Lightly lubricate the piston rod and seals. Then push the rod in. Install the back cap, lining up one of the holes with the indicated spot. Use the brass hammer to make sure it is bottomed out. Take the spiral lock ring and walk it into the groove. Be extra careful to ensure it's properly installed in the groove. Now, insert the muffler and back cap with the rubber gasket and insert the screws using an Allen wrench. Manipulate the muffler to ensure proper alignment in the back cap. Once the cylinder is completely installed, remove the tool from the vise. You're ready for the final step in the reassembly of the 2025, the throttle valve and throttle valve guard. First, drop the spring in the throttle valve hole. Grease the new O-rings of the distributor valve and insert. Manipulate until they go through. Next, insert the cross arm, hooking it through the cable. Insert the guard and then the cross screw and tighten. You've now completed the reassembly process. The next step is to bleed the tool. Start by removing the screw. Then thread in the bottle of fluid. Any of the Dextron oil products can be used. You'll want to make sure to use only half a bottle of oil to leave room for expansion. Next, attach a regulator to the tool between 20 and 40 PSI. Cycle the tool 20 to 40 times in different directions to make sure the air is out and the bottle remains tightly attached. Remember, it's important to cycle the tool until the air bubbles stop appearing in the bottle. Once air pockets are visibly gone, put down the tool, remove the bottle, and replace the screw. Be sure to use a rag when tightening the screw to absorb any displaced oil. The 2025 tool is now ready for use. Remove the air regulator and reconnect the line air. Then reinstall the nose assembly. Thread the collet and extension onto the piston. With this style of tool, the piston will rotate, so place a 5 16th inch Allen wrench into the back of the tool to hold the piston while you tighten the collet and extension to the piston. Next, take the anvil with its insert and slide it onto the piston, followed by the retaining nut. This should be threaded on until it bottoms out.
Congratulations, your HUP 2025 Neudralic tool is ready for installation duty.